HVEST has acquired a tomato processing factory in Zanin in Limpopo. In studio with me now to explain more about the deal is the company CEO, Ishmael Dasat. Good to have you with us today, sir. Thank you. Fantastic. Maybe if you can tell us a li little bit more about the rationale behind the uh, acquisition. It does stem from a uh, tomato paste shortage we had in the country? Well, yes, it has to do with the fact that we produce a tremendous amount of tomato sauce as a byproduct of tomato paste and because of the shortage not only in South Africa but on the world market and prices rising the way they are and the land dropping to the value that it has it was uh, prudent for us to invest in a uh, tomato concentrate plant which is a paste factory uh, the country imports over 100,000 tons of tomato paste a year. And uh, there's a tremendous shortage of tomato paste in the country. 90% of the manufacturers are importing tomato paste. So we uh, were looking at the possibility of uh, putting up a tomato paste plant in Northern Trans, in the old Northern Transvaal, so to say, or Northern Province. Mm. And the Tiger Brands factory became available. It had the correct infrastructure and it had the correct uh, facilities for running a tomato paste factory. And it's right in the heart of the tomato growing area. And we then uh, acquired the premises from Tiger Brands. We are now in the process of upgrading the entire plant. How much is that going to cost you? Uh, the new plant is in the region of 40 million, able to produce 600 tons of, of uh, raw tomatoes per day. Put that into context for us. I'm a tomato sauce fan. Uh, if you can quantify it in maybe bottles of value and maybe also elaborate as to how much market share you have <laughs> against your competitor, uh, All Gold. Uh, it would be difficult for me to say what our market share is compared to all gold, but all gold is without doubt the leader in the country. And uh, we launched the uh, platinum range uh, a couple of months ago under the 700 glass bottle. That's taken off exceptionally well. We are the leaders in the two liter uh, bracket in the supermarket shelves as far as the All Joy brand is concerned. Uh, I think without doubt that we're the second player as far as tomato sauce is concerned in the country. Market share comparatively would be approximately 22-23%. I may be wrong but I think it's closer to 23%. Clearly it's market share that you obviously want to gain and expand upon, but it clearly isn't a very easy environment to operate in. Manufacturing in South Africa is taking a bit of a decline. We've got power shortages, labor unrest. How difficult is it for you at the moment? All the issues that you have raised by their nature is difficult. Um, power outages is a big problem, but we have uh, contingency plans as far as generators and so forth is concerned. Labor is, a, uh, is always a major issue, but we decided to go into an area where there was a need to uplift the outgrowers for tomatoes, the smaller farmers, to give them the opportunity of able to grow industrial tomatoes. And uh, hence the factory in the Zanin area. I want to get your thoughts on the role of entrepreneurship in South Africa, given the fact that Dasat does start off from a family foundation. Is it dif becoming more difficult to be an entrepreneur or a businessman in the South African environment? And I put that in the context of policies involved and the economic environment that we've alluded to. Well, the economic policy in the country is, is conducive dependent on our fluctuation of the rand. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the, the rand, f to do business with the rand in Africa, it is overvalued. Hmm. Because Africa buys from Europe on never, never terms. 
and uh, if they have to pay cash, they want the prices to be competitive. Europe, with all the subsidies and so forth, makes it very hard for South African companies to compete unless the rand is weaker. But by the same token, we, the rand being weaker damages us as far as importing of certain raw material is concerned. But by, by and large, you would find that uh, the weaker the rand, the greater the uh, African market mm. becomes to exciting for us here in South Africa. I'll tell you what, we'll get you in next time for a little bit longer to pick your brain on the African growth story. Thank you so much for joining us today, sir.